Left side of Lalaika, speed up the middle, turned over in the slot. Bennick has a great chance. Back anyone in front. The one timer is deflected up over the end, blasted out of play. Left point to Leonidas. Put it cross ice, and it was in the skates of Oriziak. He had it poked free. Jetlin Houcher has a shorthanded breakaway for the Barons. He's into the slot along the left hash marks. Couldn't get a backhander away as he was harassed the whole way from behind by Joe Leonidas, but there is going to be no hooking penalty that time. Leaves it for Wilcott. No, he didn't. He fooled even me with that one. Put it up the middle, did McNeil as it bounces to Vanderland, speeding in left wing side of the circle. Drives around Dale, shoots one right on. Rebound, Wilcott couldn't get to it. But it does come in turn to Austin Holmes, and he scores on a backhander, and the Barons take the one to nothing lead. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, and on chance number three, it's number 19 of the mob, giving them the early one goal lead. comes in to the slot area, stick is on the ice, and it's a backhander that beats the goaltender Dag in behind giving the Barons this first goal of the game. Not bad at all, and Austin Holmes, who's been doing a pretty darn good job so far in his rookie season, thought he could have had a couple last night. Finally able to pick him the Barons the other way. Sauced it up the left wing side. As the Baron got dumped behind the play, there's no call again. For the Barons, Peter man right to the shot. Tor Scalise takes the perfect cross ice feed at the right circle. And we got two Barons scoring their first AJHL goals. The mob doubles the lead. It's two zip here at the Casman Center. Barons have a successful breakout after being hemmed into their own zone. Come down in an odd man rush. A little bit of a broken play by the Thunder. Drops it back to Waddington, right point. 55 seconds to go in the power play. Poirier right half boards. Fed right side of the net, Smythe. Put one back door, Topper shot one. That either went off a Forte or never got through. Now Poirier cuts to his own blue. Fed it right wing for the captain, Smythe over the line. Give it to Poirier, right circle. He's got an open man at the far side. But his shot never got through, and then the rebound shot is waved off as the net was off of its moorings. And there was no question there. Off a beautiful open net uh, put in from the bottom of the right circle for DV that would have gotten them on the board. No, that Thunder trying to at least get on the board and make this an exciting finish. But it's taken back by Ayotte. Put it up the middle. Houcher will dangle his way to the red line. Shoot one. Score! And just like last night, the captain puts this one to bed. The Barons will start the season 2-0. Shot to Fortan's right, empty net for DD. They trail 3-0 with four seconds to go. Barons win the draw. Andrew McCann pins it into the end boards. And the Barons win again. It's a 34-shot shutout for Zach Fortin in his first start as a Fort McMurray Oil Barons goaltender. Not bad at all, Bruce Not Ferguson. bad at all. Welcome aboard, Zach Fortin. Wow, great great outing. And it's not like he didn't see a lot of rubber either. You know, there's, he's seen a lot of shots, and he, he held his composure when the play was down low. So the Barons are now 2-0, and they will take these talents on the road to Lloydminster next Wednesday night.